and how anti-violence groups are reacting to a violent start to the new year. Alyssa. That's right. And, you know, so far, police have not released any names or a motive for this shooting. But I did get a chance to speak with a pastor with the city's ceasefire program. He talked about his hopes for this new year. Cell phone video posted on the Citizen app shows a crime scene in West Oakland around 9 p.m. New Year's Day. A man was shot and killed outside a liquor store at 34th and Hollis Streets. He was pronounced dead at the scene. This first homicide of the year is upsetting for anti-violence groups in Oakland. But please put down your guns. You Pastor Jim Hopkins with Lakeshore Avenue Baptist Church is involved in the city's ceasefire program. He was with many others New Year's Eve for the service of the crosses to remember the 134 homicide victims lost in Oakland in 2021. The first reaction has to be one of grief and lament and certainly a foreboding of here we go again after 134 homicides last year. Five people were also killed on freeways in Oakland. There was a 21 percent increase in shootings. Pastor Jim said people are desperate and many need resources like job training, recovery and support for families. He said in the new year they will do more outreach and try to intervene in the lives of young people at risk of being involved in violent crimes. I've just got to fall back on what's worked before. There's evidence that when the ceasefire philosophy is, is worked, is implemented, is trusted, uh, the number of homicides goes down significantly. On New Year's Eve, OPD discussed its commitment to making Oakland a safer city. The department released a statement that said, public service and safety are in the highest tradition of the Oakland Police Department, which we will continue to demonstrate each day. And the pandemic did greatly impact Operation Ceasefire because a part of that strategy is to build relationships in the community and do a lot of outreach. But COVID restrictions really made them reduce what they were able to do. Now, OPD has said that going into the new year, they are committed to the ceasefire strategy. Reporting live in Oakland, I'm Alyssa Harrington, KTVU Fox 2 News.